Hello, everybody. Welcome back to 5-Minute Gaming News, the show that's chugging along. Today in the news, we've got an interesting little tidbit because it looks like Sony has created a web page for PSVR 2. While it looks like this is just the beginning because the page has no image of the actual headset yet, it does feature the new controllers, which have a very familiar look to them. Boasting 4K, 110 FOV, eye tracking, and more, it looks like Sony is going all in on PSVR for the future. And we'll see if all that pans out, but I'm excited. I still have my PlayStation VR headset and, uh, all of the cables and cords that came with it. But, uh, I really haven't used it since the last time was Moss, I think. Which, by the way, if you haven't played Moss, fantastic game. But like I said, we're really just starting to learn about Sony's plans. According to Game Rant, rumors point to a holiday 2022 launch, and if that rumor is true, this means this summer, when all the promos for the rest of the year come out, we can expect some PSVR content in the mix. While having and liking to wear glasses has made VR kind of a pain, I do love the tech, I'm excited to see where it goes, and this is pretty awesome news, honestly. I'm very excited to see more PSVR stuff, and I cannot wait until we actually find out information, hopefully later this year. In other news, Telltale Games, that's right, you probably never thought you'd hear that name again. Well, after their collapse in 2018, which is a nice way of putting it, and then their subsequent resurrection, they are officially back with some information about a sequel to a fan favorite game. If you missed out on the whole Telltale drama, well, I'll catch you up. It's pretty much a tale as old as time when it comes to the games industry. Crunch culture, toxic management, frustrated devs who believe the company was run by a bunch of idiot assholes, and then they fired a ton of people. I'm pretty sure it sounds familiar. So with all of that and the history of the company, I am very interested in what you think about what I'm gonna tell you because it's finally happening. Wolf Among Us 2. The sequel to the hit game about Bigby Wolf, the sheriff of Fable Town, and the messed up fantasy world he lives in, appears to be getting some sort of update on its status tomorrow with Jeff Keighley. We last saw information about the game in 2019, but since then, they've been mighty quiet. It appears they're trying to downplay expectations about tomorrow and what to expect, and that it's mostly just gonna be behind the scenes stuff, but I know a lot of people are hoping for a trailer, and any information on what style of game this is gonna be. Will it be very similar to previous Telltale games? Which after a while, let's be real, became stale. Or are they changing up the formula and making it something a little bit better and different? I guess we'll all find out together. Although the real question is, do any of you really care? Is there anyone who's like super hyped for this? It's a real question I have. I would love to know, that's what the comments are for. It seems like one of those things, like when people tell me they're making a bunch of Avatar movies and I'm like, who is that for? Who is the person who's excited for this right now? I feel the same way about Wolf Among Us 2. Uh, it had its time, and I, I don't know if that time can be grabbed and captured again, but I guess that's what I'll find out from y'all. And lastly in the news, a story that I cannot believe is real, but it totally is, and so here we are. Last week, a man entered a credit union in DeLand, Florida, wielding a large hammer and a Sonic the Hedgehog mask. Demanding money from the teller and banging on the windows, he was eventually stopped by another employee when confronted. The now named Sonic Bandit gave up any attempt to get the money and fled the scene. According to the police who showed up to try and stop him, no money was taken, no one was hurt. But, and I cannot stress this enough because again, this is totally true, when police were asked about the suspect, they said that he had fled the scene too quickly and made an escape because he was just too fast. Well, that's it for 5-Minute Gaming News. Thank you for watching, and more importantly, thank you to everyone at patreon.com slash jessecox for your support and all you do for this amazing show and channel. Specifically to Colby Klein, Logan Soapland, and Shannon McCravey, thank you all so much. I will see you tomorrow with another episode.